Through the rain, through the cold, and from the darkness. Come springtime. Welcome to Spring Quarter at UC Davis. Hello everyone and welcome back. It is spring quarter at UC Davis, also springtime in California, and that means a lot of things are changed. And I did a How to Survive Winter Quarter uh, at the beginning of Winter Quarter, and I kind of feel like I need to do a How to Survive Spring Quarter slash springtime slash kind of pseudo summertime here at Davis because honest to God, it is freaking hot. Like, it's 90 or something today. Also, I got new glasses. How do you guys like them? Let me know in the comments below. As I said, it is springtime, it is spring quarter, and there's a lot of ways that things can go wrong for you during spring quarter. And so, so I've compiled a little bit of a list of things you can do to help yourself survive. There are so many ways to mess up uh, surviving during the spring, only because there are so many things that are out to get you during the spring. Especially if you're someone like me who has terrible, terrible, terrible allergies. <laughs> yeah, so, recommendation. Load up on your allergy medications. And if you are really having trouble, go to the Student Health and Wellness Center and get yourself a prescription for nasal spray or other things that are gonna help you survive. Because honestly, allergies are the worst. Uh, and if you've never had allergies before and you're finding yourself being congested, sneezing, drowsy, lightheaded, feeling exhausted, deciding that you can't breathe at night, finding yourself eating your phlegm, uh, these all might be reasons for you to go try allergy medication. <coughs> you see these boots? It's sandal time. So 100% during the winter quarter, I highly, highly, highly recommend you have some kind of rain boot, winter boot, something that's gonna keep your feet dry and warm. However, the minute spring quarter rolls around, it is time for you to get some good sandals or flip-flops or something to keep your toes nice and breathy because it's gonna get hot, you're gonna be biking or walking and your feet are just gonna start sweating. So I have been converted to being a Tiva lover by my girlfriend, so go Tivas. You guys should sponsor this video. But if not, any kind of sandal is gonna work. But I really highly, highly recommend you get sandals. Uh, Cause if you're going to be walking around, you're going to want something that's comforting on your feet and lets the air fly right in. So I think I mentioned back in winter quarter that it's great to have waterproof pants or just make sure you have extra pants cause you're gonna be changing out of them every time it rains cause you don't want to be wet. But now you got this other issue. Now it's too hot all the time and you're gonna sweat all the freaking time. So you need to have a lot of either t-shirts if you're into t-shirts, but I really recommend tank tops. Like, I have this whole side of my shirt drawer is literally tank tops. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get some tank tops because it's gonna be really hot and you wanna be able to breathe. And honestly, it's 100% worth it. I don't know, I feel like for girls, it's more common for you guys to have tank tops. So for the guys, make sure you Get yourself some tank tops. And if you're like me and you don't go to the gym very often, whatever, who cares? It, just sport the tank top anyways. Or if you're really smart, you will just go to the gym and start working on those guns so you can sport the tank top and look great. But I'm not that person. So another thing that I've learned over the years is when you're in the residence halls, you usually have AC. So that doesn't matter as much. But the minute you move out of the residence halls, you lose AC uh, that's free. You gotta start paying for your own AC. So few tips. If you don't want to pay for your own AC, go study on campus where there is AC. My other tip is if you don't want to die from heat and you don't want to pay for AC, go through your house and close your blinds. Like so. Make it as dark as possible in your place. This will help keep your place nice and cool, uh, especially when you're gone all day at school and then you come back and you're like, it's death you will come back to a not so hot place. Usually it'll be cooler than it is outside. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna open them because I need more light. So some final little tidbits that I think will be helpful. Uh, one of them is actually the type of sheets you use. So we recently changed the sheets that we had. We had flannel sheets that were made out of this like, uh, kind of like a sweatshirt material. And so we switched them to these nice, smooth, I don't know what they are called, but these sheets, there they are. 
They're 100% cotton sheets. And we switched to these ones because they are cooler, like to my touch. They are so much cooler than like my own t-shirt. And the cats also love them very much. But also they're great for the humans too because they're nice and cool. Also some good relevant things. Don't try cooking and baking in the middle of the day because it's just going to make your whole house even hotter when you have your stove going. Definitely stock up on your ice cream, ice cubes, and cold beverages. And I think my final bit of advice is go get a fan, like right now, uh, because it's going to be really hot and the fan really helps to keep the air circulating through your place. And we have like two or three and it just helps so much and it saves money on electricity because it doesn't cost as much as the air conditioner. So those are my tips for surviving spring quarter. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Congratulations to all the new transfer students that have been accepted. I think the waitlist might have also been accepted as well, so congratulations to you. I could be wrong though. As always, take your allergy medication and don't forget to be awesome.